Hello and welcome to the Paul Cantabene Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined by Stevenson, head men's lacrosse coach Paul Cantabene. Coach, uh, we started off last week. Um, you played Stevens here at home. Uh, certainly an exciting finish, big comeback by your guys down 11-6 in the second half, came back to win in overtime. Yeah, I thought we showed a lot of toughness down the stretch there, being down five sometimes in the second half, and we made some good plays and yeah. got back into it, and uh, we really made some uh, key plays right when the game mattered, and I thought we got a good stop uh, with under a minute to go, and Kyle hit that big shot for us to go in the overtime, and then, you know, Ethan made the big shot to win it. But I thought, you know, Justin Bernetti played outstanding in that game, and Sam Ross really kept us in it. So, you know, we, we got to continue to build off that and uh, move forward. But, you know, I thought it was a good win for our program off a very good Stevens team. They were ranked 13th in the country yeah. and, you know, probably end up 17-2 at their conference and everything like that, so that was a pretty good win for us. Yeah, obviously, like you said, the performance by Justin at the face-off acts on Tuesday night really won you that game because you had you know possessed 26 to 29 face-offs. Yep. You know, against the top 20 team, that's virtually unheard of. Yeah, it's pretty good. So Justin's playing well, but you know, he, up into that game, he only lost uh, I think the like eight face-offs in, yeah. in the last three games. So he's really coming on when it matters. Yeah, absolutely. And obviously, like you said, the fight, the heart you guys showed to come back in that game. You know, being down so much. Yep. You know, and like you said, for the most part this year, you guys have fought and battled. Yeah, for the most part, and I think the big games we've always played pretty tough, even with all our injuries and where we are. I think the guys have really played hard for most of the year, and that's really good to see as we keep going forward to our conference play. Yeah, and then um, Friday you go down to Lynchburg. Um, you know, first half you're up at halftime. Second half they were able to make a run and uh, pull away a little bit. Yeah, it was just disappointing in the second half. I thought we played pretty well in the first half along with them. It was a really tough game. Yeah. And and I think they just came out and kind of punched us in the face, and we didn't really respond too well offensively. You know, we turned the ball over way too much and only got one shot in the third quarter and seven in the fourth quarter. And I thought they did a good job just possessing the ball and grinding us down and uh, playing with that. And that was a big game for them. You know, they yeah. really needed that, and I thought they played excellent in the half, so all the credit goes to them. But it was disappointing to see us not play as well in the second half and not really show the courage or the toughness that we needed to win that game. And uh, But I think hopefully we'll bounce back uh, this coming up week against Lycoming and Messiah. But, you know, we need to, we need to play better on the offensive end. That really is more of a disappointment. I thought our defense hung in there. I think it was our offense that really kind of cost us that game, and we need to be a lot tougher when the game matters. So it was unfortunate we played so well in the second half. We played right. so well in the half against Stevens and not to play so well in the second half against them. But it's always a tough bus ride down there. It took us yeah. about five hours through the mountains and all that fun stuff. And to do that in one day and down, uh, you know, it was a little tougher for us. Uh, and, and uh, you know, we had some injuries pop up as well. You know, Tyler yeah. Reed got – I mean, Tyler um, Russo got hurt and Jimmy Walsh got hurt. And, you know, our, our midi Ds were really banged up, but they played with a lot of courage and uh, that really – Really did a, gr a great job. It's just that we didn't possess the ball long enough, or you know, do uh, yeah. make the tough plays we needed to make. Yeah. Now this week you transition for the rest of the legacy and transition to conference play. You're at Lycoming tomorrow, and then uh, back home to, uh, Saturday night against Messiah. Yeah. You know, we're, you know, Lycoming's had a good season. I think they're six and three in the year. They're not scoring a ton of goals, but you know, they're keeping themselves in the games, and we're going to have to play real well tomorrow in order to get that W. And then you know, Messiah's had some really, uh, you know, some results. You know, they haven't come out on top, but they played some of the best teams in the country really tight and. Uh, Franklin and Marshall and um, Ohio Wesleyan, uh, but they've had some tough games in conference. You know, they had a one-goal victory over Lebanon, uh, Lebanon Valley, 4-3, and they just beat Lycoming 11-9, so they're getting some close games, but we're going to have to play good lacrosse in order to win these two games this week, that's for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Like you said, you know, those teams have been in some close games against some good competition, so it can be two battles this week. Yeah, we're going to have to play well. So Justin's going to have to continue to play, and Sam's going to have to play well, but we have to play better on offense for us to be successful, and that's what we're really will concentrating on. I think our defense has given us a chance. Our offense, it can't contribute to why we don't win. Yeah. All right, Coach Shul, thanks for your time. and wish you the best of luck this week. Thanks a lot, Greg. All right. For Paul Cantabene, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Paul Cantabene Show.